An all-party group is uh, a group of members of parliament and members of the House of Lords who have a particular interest in a certain subject. I'm chairman of a number of different groups and uh, it's cross-party. Uh, you don't have to be uh, political one way or the other. It's about an issue or a country that you have an interest in. Since joining the House, I'm amazed by the plethora and the variety and diversity of the different all-parliamentary groups. I've had personally had the pleasure of actually leading an all-parliamentary group on trade and poverty uh, in July 2011 to Bangladesh. And I think it's also an important message we export to other countries, because here's an all-party group. There were representatives of both houses, the upper house and the lower house, and representatives of both parties. And I think it demonstrates the strength of our democracy that we have the elected chamber, the House of Commons, the appointed chamber, the House of Lords, two different parties in this particular case, it was the Labour Party and the Conservatives, coming together on a common cause and then representing that cause internationally. And I think that defines the strength that despite what you see sometimes on the media of the challenges and the adversarial elements of our House of Commons in particular, not so much the House of Lords, but nevertheless the opposing party view. Our strength is demonstrated that when we travel abroad or there are issues, there is much that unites us on issues rather than what divides us. And I think all parliamentary party groups are demonstrable of that issue. In our parliament here at Westminster, one of the major activities is that people set up or join groups to become very expert on one particular subject or one particular country. And the, um, the groups that um, people concentrate on one particular country are very um, important in making relationships with that country. People from the parliament in that country come here, people from here go there. We learn a lot about each other and we can make sure through having that knowledge and experience that the government hears about our relations with that country, how important they are, and we can keep that on the government's agenda, that relationships with the country that we're particularly interested in should be on the government's agenda as well as on ours.